I'm a motherfucking failure. Yes, I'm a motherfucking failure. I belong to the collective, and all we do is fail. If we don't fail today, then we have become passe. I'm a motherfucking failure. And I cannot sing. And now, here is the fail cast, brought to you by the collective. All right, bastards, talk. Are you rolling? I'm rolling. Hi, welcome to fail cast number one. I'm Richard Martinez. I'm Arash Azimi Hashemi. I'm John Hilbert. <laughs> and uh, we tried to record uh, this before, but John Hilbert was being a total ass. I had some valid points. I thought you were a rush. Shit. I had some horrible points. <laughs> so we're going to try again. We're going to, in this episode, we're going to talk about the collective and their philosophy, if there is one. If a bunch of 12-year-olds don't stab us first. <laughs> yeah, we're recording this in the parking lot of a <laughs> BevMo in Brea. <coughs> why, why are we recording this in a parking lot in, of a BevMo in Brea, John? I had nothing to do with this. You had everything to do with it. So, um, philosophy, collective. My, I mean, the collective kind of started as just a way to fuck with the school professors. But I think, I don't know, for me it was more about getting together with my friends and kind of helping each other. And I think that hopefully through our collective efforts would uh good use of collective yes thank you our uh, collective efforts would make us more efficient i'm not sure if it has yet but it's a good idea do you have something to add no i hate you um <laughs> so for instance like uh even um though we made a lot of the the movies last year on our own like bringing them together i mean we kind of had a goal and sort of stuck to it and now that some of us have left school in one way or another whether graduated or not we can uh you know further utilize our efforts towards something bigger than just fucking with the school um yeah we have to fuck with other institutions yeah we there's there's other institutions to fuck with than um than just the school yeah yeah i'm gonna destroy pressure yeah, like like destroying Prussia. You should and, just destroy the P in Prussia. And... Yeah, and then there'll be two Russias. That's a valid point. Oh, damn you. And, um... Uh, so, from then on, it's, um... Uh, I don't know, are you still a filmmaker, John? I'm more of a visual artist. And, uh... <laughs> I don't, so, from then, I think it's, it's... Well, there's obviously us three, um... I don't do narrative. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, you just do documentaries? <laughs> and promotional videos. Okay. For companies that deserve it, my talents. Um, so, for instance, like, even, even like, defining, like, because I, it was funny. Um, I have a price. Sorry, go ahead. I uh, think it was last week or something. Um, my mom asked me something about, I don't know why everyone wants to know. She's just like, is there, like, a production company name you guys are using for... For the movie you're shooting this summer, which is called Don't Terrence Lyon. Like goddamn patchouli. And, uh. Oh, fucker. <laughs> she said, Is there a production company name for Terrence Lyon? I said, Oh, yeah, it's The Collective. And she's like, What's The Collective? <coughs> and, um. <laughs> so, well, and John's smoking again. <laughs> when, a, when a man loves a woman very much. God damn. And, um. <laughs> so. It's kind of hard to explain. And then, even, even, even just defining, like, who's actually in The Collective. Well. Oh, what? Where? Where did we come up with the term "collective" and who did? Do you, Do you remember, John? No. It's kind of like something we found on the back of a cereal box, wasn't it? No. Well, wasn't it? I mean, we were trying to something. come up with a name for our little group of friends for a while, and then I think uh, a few of us were in Del Taco one night, and I think Arash came up with the name. Yeah, I was in between General Mills and uh, what? <laughs> That's not true at all. Lucky Charms. <laughs> and um, that's a that's a product of General Mills. Yeah. What? 
What? What are you like advertising? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a badass collective name? Lucky Charms! That'd be horrible. Like, oh, I, I want to be lucky and I like charms too. Oh anyway. God, the 12 year olds are going to stab us. Oh, there's 12 year olds. But, uh, so we, uh. Um, collective was just a default sort of thing. I just. Well, I think it, 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 uh, it embodies some sort of, um, you know. Generality? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Communal feeling, I guess. <laughs> Generality. I mean, it it it, it was necessary uh, at school, sort of. Not necessarily that we had to name them, name it, but uh, just the the film program was so lacking that if you don't uh, if you don't get in with another group of people, it's uh, it, it's easily very disappointing being there. If, if you just had to be assigned to groups with other people. Then, uh, then you're just bound for mediocrity, like all the film two films have been made in recent years. Yeah, well, um, I think uh, if you just let them push you around from class to class and assignment to assignment, don't make your own stuff, or mm. don't try and find some friends to work with in that community, then uh, it's it's pretty awful. And it's it was pretty awful even with friends. Well, I think so. Um, without a, I can't uh, I can't imagine what that experience would have been like. That was a. Uh, like People all. ask me like, "Is is was Cal or is Cal State Fullerton a good film school to go to?" And I was like, or people even be like, "Like, why'd you go there? Why didn't you go somewhere else?" I was like, "I don't know. I think um, it was wasn't necessarily the best education, but I definitely what I took from it was meeting people who I would like to work with for hopefully a long time. So, and hence the collective and." Um, you know, yeah, like 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 Mike said, it's putting a name on it wasn't necessary, but it's like, well, we're a part of something now, you know, and even if we can't necessarily define it cleanly, and um, you know, some people who might unofficially or be involved with the collective efforts have no knowledge about their involvement. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just about it's just about um, having working with friends and making something creative and having fun doing it at the same time. Say something, John. I was thinking it's a real shame I didn't uh, make a women's prison film when I was at Cal State Fullerton. A few minutes and a lot of stupid conversation later. There's it. Don't look at me like that. I think most I'm not looking at you. I think most people in this little group of ours uh, have a distinct hatred of really SoCal people. Yeah. I, I've never heard so much complaining about a group of people somewhere since like Texas. What? Yeah. It's like people from one year. Or it's like any, any state that has like major state universities they'll all complain about each other. But uh, this is the first time I've heard that much complaining about a group that wasn't you know uh, state universities or I guess the Jews or something. Yeah. <laughs> or the Jews. Yeah. We're kind of like um yeah, We're kind of like 1930s you, Germany. You, you people hate SoCal Jews? No, no, SoCal people. Yeah, no, just anybody. <laughs> not, not even just anybody. It's a, it's a particular Orange County, too. Orange County douchebags. I, I, yeah, so I think um, that is that is part of it. There's a certain attitude, especially within uh, I think people who are trying to get involved with the film industry um, that a lot of these people uh, maintain and is something I didn't necessarily want to be a part of. So, you know, I always wanted to do things, not necessarily on my own, but, you know, I thought it would always be nice to to go to school and to find uh, people to work with who would, you know, find, like, a, a DP, find sound person, find producer, etc. I think uh, he's sitting on this, John. Yeah. Who? Us. Uh, you know how much we've recorded so far? That's uh, it for day one. Was that? No, that's not it. Oh, no? We, we, have we finished our list of philosophies? Uh, I didn't get to explain my own personal philosophy in my work. That's what I was talking about. I think we've been going for 12, 13 minutes. Yeah, I think uh should probably wrap it up there. That's uh, That'll be episode one. Okay. Uh, Richard Martinez, say your name <laughs> and say bye. Hi. Hi. State your name. <laughs> um... I'm Mike. I do the theme song. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is it recording? Yeah. Mike, you ever notice how a lot of emergency brakes look like dog penises? <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>
put that at the end and then just cut the show. <laughs>